morning and welcome back to my channel. I am organizing today. I'm having a big organization type clear out of my wardrobe and I thought I would pick up the camera because I don't know about you but I find it really motivational to watch other people declutter and organize. It gets me in the mood to do it myself. So hopefully if you um, are after a bit of motivation then maybe you could pop this video on and let's do it together. Why not? Maybe watch it with a cuppa first and then re-watch it whilst you're doing it yourself. So yeah, I actually really enjoy a declutter. I don't know if that's a bit uh, of a rogue, controversial statement to suggest, but there's just something quite therapeutic about it. I do quite like to follow a Marie Kondo method of clearing out everything from my wardrobe, cleaning it, and then reorganizing it. Because if you take things out one at a time, think, do I want it? I think it's harder to be ruthless. I've got plans to completely change up and switch up my wardrobe situation in what is my filming room currently. I want to make it more of a filming slash wardrobe room. At the minute, I've only got one double wardrobe in there. I'm thinking about doing like a run of wardrobes or at least adding a couple more Ikea packs something just to give me a bit more space for shoe storage and coat storage that is the thing that i tend to um i tend to lack in like for coats jackets and then yeah i don't have any shelves for shoe storage and bags as well so yes that is the plan i'll show you what my wardrobe is currently looking like and then we will get our declutter on so if you are new to my channel and yet to have seen it, this is our bedroom currently. The plan is to add more wardrobes, like I say, in my filming room, which will clear out space for this area here, which currently has a wardrobe. This is just an Ikea Pax wardrobe. It doesn't look good there. I don't think it fits. I think the fact that there's a big gap and the larger Ikea wardrobe didn't fit in there. So it just kind of looks a bit odd placed there. So... Um, yeah, the intention is to eventually get rid of this wardrobe in here and then maybe just have some kind of a chair in that space or something or maybe even move this ladder over there, I'm not sure. But just to style it up and actually have no wardrobes in here, just these drawers and then our laundry basket and our bedside drawers as well. But I will save that for another video and for the purpose of this video, let me open it up and show you what is inside this wardrobe. So these are the taller Ikea wardrobes with, um, I've got a shelf at the top just with a couple of random bits in. There's actually some space up there so I can utilize that. And then on the top rail, I tend to have all of my like knitwear, any kind of shirts that I've got, satin shirts, knit vests, and then dresses over here. And then on the bottom, it is all of my bottoms that I own essentially. So. Over the left to the left here is mostly leggings. And then I've got some like knit cords um, and cozy loungewear joggers and then jeans and leather trousers. So that is wardrobe number one. And this is another thing, having to like go from room to room to like get my clothes. It'd be nice to have it all in one space. We have just put down some of this on the floor in this corridor because obviously if you're not new to my channel, you won't know. We are renovating the entire of downstairs. We don't have a downstairs, basically, at the moment. It is chaos. So instead of traipsing dirt around this corridor, we thought we'd just put these, um, what's it called? Tac Tech film on the floor, and it's been really good. It just comes in, if you're, if you are renovating too, it comes in this roll, which is so easy. It kind of just sticks to the floor naturally. Anyway, then into my filming room. Let's switch a light on because it's looking very blue. This is the one wardrobe. This is actually a double and I much prefer this because you can get two of the same doors. If you saw in my bedroom one, you get a thinner door, which we chose the mirror. And again, I just don't really like the look of it. I like the just all white and simple. The plan is to keep this wardrobe here. Again, this is one of the taller units. And then also over this side have a run of, it's not focusing, run of wardrobes and then move those drawers over to this side and those drawers fit perfectly here. And then if in future we did have this as a spare bedroom, it would mean that all of this wall that we have panelled would be free to have a bed against. Or on this other side as well where this mirror is, we could have a bed against there because that would just be plain and then move that mirror to, well, to anywhere else. But I think that mirror would look quite nicely against this wall too. So let me actually show you what the wardrobe is currently looking like. Also, excuse the fact that the windows are filthy from the renovation. That is on the outside. Obviously, they're clean on the inside, but 
yeah, it's manic and we also don't have blinds or anything up here. We still got a lot to do with this house. Hopefully by the time the end of the year comes, we will have it all finished. The top shelf just has a couple of wicker baskets with some hats and scarves in. There's some shoes up there. And then the top rail basically has a lot of hoodies. This is my everyday attire, hoodies, leggings, socks. So I have a lot of hoodies and I definitely could do with getting rid of some of them. Pretty much, well, there's like quarter zips here, hoodies here, got leather jacket, vests and blazers here and a couple of jackets here. And then down here we have more fleeces, jumpers like sweatshirts and t-shirts, all kind of color coordinated, vests and bodies at the front and a couple of shoes along the bottom. Another area of mine that I want to declutter is actually shoes. In fact, I'll show you those as well. So this is a bit of reality for you. This is our spare bedroom. So in here, I kind of have it set up as a guest room. However, as you can tell, we do also have the addition of, that's just my laundry basket and needs to go downstairs. Um, we have the addition of all my kind of coats. I've got some that are all dry cleaned that I've not even worn that I might potentially sell. I also have shoes under the bed. So you can actually see those boxes under the bed, but they're just white company boxes, so I don't mind those on show. However, the other side, I've got a couple of shoe boxes there, some boots, and then all under here basically is chock-a-block with shoes. If I go around the other side of the bed as well, more shoes. Too many shoes. And not only is it too many shoes, it's also shoes that I can't easily access, I can't see, so I don't wear. Um, hence the idea of putting a better storage system, wardrobe type solution in my filming room so that I can actually see everything that I own. Because I feel like if you can't see it, you don't wear it. That's at least what happens to me. So yeah, that is the entire before. I do have these drawers, but they don't really need too much of an organized. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road and let's get organizing. You're making good progress. I thought I'd also just mention what I am wearing in case anyone is interested because again, these leggings and jumpers, I practically live in most days. So hence why I have quite a few of the same thing. Um, so yeah, the Anine Bang hoodies and sweatshirts I love. I'll leave a link to these. And then also my leggings that I wear. The only leggings that I'm gonna keep and that I wear on a regular basis are my Lululemon leggings, which are these ones. I know Lululemon do a few different styles, so I'll leave these exact ones in the description box below. And also I wear the um, Amazon dupe versions of these. And then I also have two pairs of Abercrombie and Fitch leggings, which again are so comfortable. They're more of a softer cotton that I feel like is better suited to kind of more relaxing whereas the the any being the lululemon ones i would dress up as well but they're just so comfy if comfort is key for you then let me tell you there's a reason why i have a selection of the same thing but anyway leave them all linked break over let's get back to organizing <laughs> I feel like I've started filming this maybe a little bit later on in the day because the sun is already setting. So I am going to have to probably pick this up tomorrow as well. Hello, Barney. He's come to join me. You want to say hello to everybody? Oh. Speak. <coughs> yes. Oh, good boy. Leather trousers I'm going to start with and I actually only have a few pairs so I'm probably going to keep them all. This is the recent, most recent pair that I've got from Abercrombie and & Fitch and these are amazing. They're the 90s straight ultra high rise. They're more of like a trouser whereas I also have leather leggings. Now I probably don't need both pairs and I think the Topshop ones are my classic faves. I also only use 
these velvet hangers. I've just gone and picked up another pack of 25 because they're so thin and because of the velvet, they're non-slip. So if you've got like silky dresses or anything, they honestly don't budge. But I'll leave my favorites um, linked in the description box. And then I do also have one other pair of leather leggings and these are in like a nice light neutral color and they are from Because of Alice. And then for jeans, again, I don't have that many to um, clear out. I've just got a black pair which are from Primark, a couple of pairs of denim, like blue denim. This one, I think these ones are my favorite. These ones are the, yeah, these are the mango ones. And then I also have these, which I think I might get rid of. These are the Primark ones. But because I already have a light pair, I always reach for those over these. Lastly, on jeans, I have this light wash. I mean, it's really hard to see with the sunlight, but like a stone kind of color. So again, my Primark ones I will keep, but I think I might get rid of these ones. These ones are from Everlane. Mind you, they are a nicer option to have as a smarter pair. The reason why I'm saying I'm going to get rid of these ones is they're... The, the fit of them, they're more of a straight leg. I actually think I will keep these because like I said, they're just slightly more smarter look. Yeah, I am gonna keep those and they are lovely. Okay, I've actually decided what I'm gonna try and do, at least try, is have each thing have their own hanger. It, I guess it just depends on how much I'm able to whittle down as to whether or not I have the space to do that. But for now, if we give it a try and see how we get on. When you're hanging trousers on them, I always pop the non crotch side, there we go, non crotch side, the straight side um, on the outside so that it looks a lot neater. So for instance, you can see better on these joggers is the straight rather than that section. So yeah, just makes it look a little neater. And then how I'm organizing them is I'm categorizing first into what the item actually is and then color coordinating it from light to dark. So when it comes to bin bags, ordinarily I would have a kind of charity bin bag, um, you can't even see me, <laughs> charity bin bag, a charity pile, a cell pile, um, and a bin, you know, like if they're really worn down or recycle. Um, but I don't feel like I'm gonna have that much to sell. So I feel like I might just basically bin bag everything that I'm gonna take to the charity so that, um, yeah, I end up just having a lot to donate. And um, if I do have the odd item for sale, then I can just put it to one side. Because like I said, I don't think I'm going to have, I don't think I'm going to have that much really. Broken hangers along the way. The handle is literally about to break off. And then any mismatched handles, uh, handles, hangers, basically anything that aren't black velvet are also going i'll ask tom if he wants any spare but i think he'll also want to just have all black velvet so these are for the bin for my leggings to save on a bit of hanging space rather than hang them all up and I did have about four or five pairs per hanger I'm actually going to use the roll method to store them within this basket and either keep them at the top or what I'm thinking is more likely to keep them down here just taking them this is a pair from all neutrals it's the only light colored pair I'm going to keep I do have this Abercrombie pair which isn't exactly light but it's not black and then I've got a couple of other Lululemon leggings which are different colours to black. But again, keeping all of those, they are by far my favourite pair of leggings I own. But 
for these ones i'm just going to if the crotch is a bit big i just kind of fold it in fold it kind of not really in half like a third and then just roll like so these ones are quite thick so i guess they'll take up a lot of space and then i'm just gonna i don't know just do them in color color order what i'll probably do actually is two rows that way and that way it's going so far any items of clothing that i'm coming across that need a kind of de or lint remover i've shown this before i think but this from minky this lint remover de is so good it's so satisfying as well look at all that fuzz that i've got if you haven't seen one of these before it just switches on on the back battery powered and you just kind of rub that against the item of clothes that have like bobbles on that need removing and it literally just kind of cuts them off nice and gentle though i mean i use it you know on like lululemon leggings so it's absolutely fine and i'll leave this exact one linked below for you This is one of those jumpers that I definitely don't need, this one, because I have my Aneem Bing, very similar, similar in colour, both have a print. I'm going to keep this one, this is the one that I love, this is the one that is better quality. This one is only from Boohoo that I bought years and years ago, but I have sentiment attached with this one and I just can't bear to part with it so the story behind this nebraska when we went to pick up barney our golden retriever puppy um all of the pups there were 10 of them and i was like how on earth am i going to pick from 10 puppies firstly we want a boy so that whittles out three only three were girls so it's still got seven to choose from and um they all had different colored collars so the yellow collar which is barney was um we had a flower bloom in the garden that morning we were picking the puppies and it was a single yellow rose it came from nowhere disappeared afterwards never seen it since the garden's now since been ripped apart and all sorts but yeah so that was like a hint to yellow and then they were all given the casey registered names were after us states of which again when i was wearing this jumper happened to be wearing this jumper and um we were picking the pups she sent over the list of what the kc names were and yellow collar happened to be named nebraska nebraska sunshine he was called so i was like oh it's a hint it's a sign i'm gonna go for yellow collar hence barney and yeah so i just can't part with it guys i know you shouldn't keep clothes that are sentimentally you're attached with but that's the only thing really that i have that i'm sentimentally attached to These are the two baskets that I have. They're from Ikea. These are at the top of my wardrobe and I have in here hats and then in the other one like cozy hats and scarves. Now caps, to be honest with you, I wear them but not that often. So I definitely don't need this many. I have my um, my sort of designer one which is my Anine, Anina Bing NYC in green. So I'm gonna keep this one 
still got the labels on. I haven't even worn it yet. The New Balance one that I have, I like, but there's a mark. So I've got two other black ones, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I really like this one that I got from Zara a while ago because it's got like a fuzzy fabric. It's a different material. The other light colored one that I have, but of the two, I prefer the Zara one, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then the other black caps that I have, again, this one, which is also Zara, has so many marks on it. And um, otherwise, I've got these two caps as well. I've got this one um, from Reese. This is like a suede one, so again, a different kind of fabric. And then this one from Girl of Muse. Quite like the print on that one, so I'm gonna keep, I think I'm gonna keep both of those. I also have this light green colored cap and then this distressed colored one. This one is also Zara. I think I prefer this one. And then for cozy scarves and beanies, I've actually only got two here because my other scarf and beanie that I have are downstairs in the basement where my dog walking stuff is. So I'm going to keep this one. This one is new. I'm kind of saving it for our Finland trip. And then I also got this scarf uh, as a Christmas present from Tom's mum. So I'm going to roll that up and pop it in there. And then I do have one other scarf which I got for Christmas. But I'm going to keep it in its box because it is from Burberry and I feel like it's folded quite neatly in there. So, can you hear the builders? Wow. Right, we are finally finished. I have this amount of stuff to donate, which is amazing. I think I counted about 90 items in there. So yeah, a lot cleared out. I'm gonna start with the wardrobes in my filming room first. So it's had a slight switch up, but really most of it is very, very similar. Starting with the top, I popped those baskets back in and just a couple of like designer boxes and my designer scarf. And then we have hoodies here, um, kind of vests and blazers, like blazer vests, blazers there jackets and a couple of fleeces and then that kind of continues down here to quarter zips on this side sweatshirts here t-shirts here and then vests bodies then if i just show you in my spare room i've basically sorted through all of my shoes and coats and these are the remaining coats left so i don't need too much wardrobe space to be able to hang all these up i have um a couple of boots and shoes and stuff in fact some of these shoes most of these shoes i'm going to be donating the rest of my shoes i've just popped underneath the bed and then last but not least in our bedroom this is how my wardrobe is looking so far so up at the top I actually have some space so I do have this basket here this linen basket which was from Primark actually I'm gonna go to Primark soon I think so I feel like it's been a while I want to see what they've got new in uh, but that just has all of my leggings rolled up within and then in terms of this top rail I have all of my dresses a couple of like um kind of like occasion dresses and stuff i keep in these uh linen covers which are from zara home and then i have yes yeah, so a continuation of some more dresses shirts and then all of my knitwear starting from vests to jumpers and then i just have a couple of like cardigans at the end and yeah like longer items and then on the bottom rail I have all my spare hangers I have three sets of like cohorts which are like cozy cohorts and then I have all of my kind of like loungewear trousers basically into joggers and then into jeans and then into leather leggings leather trousers and then I just have a couple of pairs of like smarter tailored trousers in there so that is how it's all looking so guys there we have it that is my finished decluttered wardrobe thank you so so much for watching i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day whether you're organizing yourself or not and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys